Oh boy, time now for another episode of Mr. Nelson's Sunday Comics. And being October and everything, time to do some horror comics. So here we have from Ace Comics, Skeleton Hand in Secrets of the Supernatural. If you say so. Looks like he's giving violin lessons. Or... Ah, it's the Grim Reaper. Who not only can play chess very well, but apparently can play the violin. And what's this? See, so you got this hot chick, but she's going to dance with these guys and some rotting dead woman. You got to wonder what's her deal, you know? Oh, okay. She's an elf. No, she's a vampire. And I guess he's supposed to be turning into a werewolf, maybe, or he's another vampire. I don't know. Maybe they're all vampires. Doesn't matter. Anyway, it promises to be chilling, weird, spine tingling. American Comics Group. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, so this is American... Com I thought it was Ace Comics. All right, whatever. I got that wrong. It doesn't really matter. Oh, look. War Stories. That's something else they sell. Red-Blooded Adventures of History. Soldiers of Fortune. Yeah, mercenaries, you know. Well, all right, here's our first story. The Deathless Mortal. Well, that's a contradiction in terms. You mean you mean it's immortal? Because if he's mortal, then he can't be deathless. Yeah, whatever. So this guy got all dressed up, and some uh, gargoyles or flying demons, whatever, bringing him to the castle across a cemetery. All right. To live forever. That is the dream of many men, both good and evil. And here's the story of how one man almost succeeded, almost, by using the terrifying power of black magic. It's a strange, mysterious tale, but read on and see for yourself. All right. I will. On the stage of a small theater. Looks like Largo the Magician is about washed up Jed. Yep, listen to that audience boo the old guy. Old stuff, give us something new. Boo! As the full fury of the audience burst forth, so the fools want something new, eh? All right, I'll give it to them. Get off the stage, you faker. There was a vibrant ring in the old, ma old magician's voice as he shouted for silence. My friends, what you have seen was just the introduction to a most amazing illusion. Prepare now to witness Largo's greatest feat of magic. The audience was shocked into silence by the unearthly light in Largo's eyes, by the eerie tone of his words. Arise, ye spirits of the evil old. I command thee, come forth. Wow, look at that. Suddenly, a clap of thunder shook the entire building as an acrid black, oh, black cloud hovered over the stage. Say, why'd you summon us so soon, Largo? It's time to us dead. Let us take him down. As the vile creatures lunged forward. Wait, demons, I I am until midnight. Back, back to the peak of eternal pain. That's right, we cannot touch him yet. Amid another thunderclap, the winged furies vanished. The fools, they think it was all a trick. Hey, that was pretty cool, great, marvelous. Oh, look, they have little gray panties. Anyway, as Largo retired into the wings. I'm Martha Starr, Mr. Largo. Jed Adams' new dance partner. I I think you're wonderful. Yeah, those, those are wonderful, too. I, she, she's perfect for my purpose. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this predates Viagra and all that. So. Anyway... With her to help me, 
I can hold them off a while longer. Later in Martha's dressing room, <laughs> Lord, okay, he just barges on in. I had to see you, my dear. You know, all of you. Hmm, yeah. Because I believe I can help you. You see, I need a partner in my act, and... No thanks, Mr. Largo. Jed's my partner for life. <laughs> I hope. Suddenly the smile left Martha's face to be replaced by a nameless dread. She sensed evil incarnate. But why couldn't she scream? You're being stupid. Think of the bright lights of Broadway, the big time. That's what you want, isn't it? How dare you force your way in here? Well, he was just standing in the threshold. I don't know. But anyway, I'll call for... Oh, what's happening to me? Too late, she realized that she was gazing into the eyes of a demon. Eyes which hid one of the most evil minds in history. There, your will is paralyzed. You can only obey. I I will go with you. I will be your partner, master. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, strip. So anyway, that's pretty much the story there. Too bad, huh? Later. But now you break up the act. You said you loved me. I must go with Largo. I... I'm going. You can't stop me. Great Scott. Her eyes, they're blank, empty. She's hypnotized. Raging, Jed bust into Largo's... Oh, burst, sorry. Largo's dressing room. How dare you barge in here? I could have been in the nude. <laughs> you fiend. What kind of deviltry have you used on Martha? Deviltry? Don't be an idiot. The word is persuasion. Martha realizes she has no future with you. I can make her famous. If you were 20 years younger, I'd make you eat those words. But as things stand, I guess I'm licked. I'm just going to have to give up and let this old creep take my girlfriend. <laughs> and so desolate, Joe, Joe, thought his name was Jed. But anyway, he watched the girl he loved depart. <laughs> well, she had another boyfriend on the side. I don't know. I still think he's used some sort of spell on her. But for the time being, I'm helpless. I'll buy my time and someday, uh, I don't know. Uh, several weeks later, vigorous, masterful, but Largo's an old man. There's something fishy about all this. <laughs> and I'm going to find out what right now. Broadway chatter. Largo and Star broken all records at the palace. The vigorous, masterful magician and his beautiful assistant are showstoppers. Soon afterward at the palace theater. Hold it, young fella. You can't come in here without a pass. I've got to see Martha Star. It's urgent. Unexpectedly, a strange light appeared in the old doorkeeper's eyes. A look of understanding. Then heard, son, perhaps you can succeed where I failed. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I had to hots for her too, but she's all about Largo now. Hmm. Huh. That old man seems to know why I'm here. Outside Martha's dressing room, Jed's heart leaped as he heard her voice. But he froze in horror at the words. Please release me from this living death. Haven't you tortured me enough already? <laughs> Jeez, he's a communist. I knew it. Scarcely breathing, Jed stole into the room, and his blood froze as he looked upon a scene that few mortals have ever witnessed. Great Scott, the man's a wizard. Oh, spirits of the evil old, let her youth be mine. Let it flow through me and make my body young again. Beneath the magic, I mean, <laughs> wrong voice. Beneath the magic spell, Martha's face seemed to age. Age! Well, yeah, a little. Oh, look, his hair's getting dark. Okay. Unable to contain his rage, Jed confronted the maniacal sorcerer. Jed, thanks heavens. So, you again. Yeah, and 
Now you'll answer to me. You once bragged about what you'd do if I were 20 years younger. Well, now I am, and you'll eat your words. Uh, strengthened by his love for Martha, Jed recovered quickly to fight like a man possessed. There, you swine. What good is your magic now? Unable to vanquish the power of true love, Largo gasped out a strange incantation. Suddenly, a weird materialization. What the? And I thought they were stage illusions. Rise, spirits of the evil old. Aid me. Sir, you need help again, Largo. But the phantoms proved only too real when Jed tried to struggle against their supernatural strength. Now, take this meddler to the peak of pain. But our domain is over the... What? It's over the weak, the agent. He is young and strong, we cannot. Well, rules are rules. Then, to Jed's horror... Don't argue, slaves, am I not your master? You in, Largo, but someday we'll be back. For you. Through... Inky darkness over spirit lands that never see the sun, the strange group soared until... There it is, the peak of pain. You are the first mortal ever to see it, and you will be the last. In an eerie and desolate castle, they're not tying me up, which means I can explore this awful place. Heaven knows what I'll find. Heartbreaking hours later, it's hopeless. <laughs> no human being would have a chance of escaping from this place. Suddenly, I've noticed that every so often the spirits bring an evil-looking old man. Wonder why? This time, I'll follow him. Doo -doo -ba -doo -doo -ba -doo. Looking for a clue to his own fate, Jed followed the winged spirits and their struggling burden far into the eerie depths of the dank fortress. To witness... An incredible ceremony. Spirits of evil, it's time to give up this mortal body. Come forth. Join your brother's spirits. Um, I don't know. He said Shazam. Um, it, it's unbelievable. A weird transformation began, but suddenly... Look, the prisoner. Sees him. He spotted me. And it's no use trying to run. A moment later, before the wizened chief of the spirit world, Mortal, you have witnessed our forbidden ritual. For this, you must suffer the untold torments of eternal pain. Away with him! Yeah, we don't want to see what he's holding there. No, thank God that other bald head's in the way. Yeah. Oh, man! Oh, it's bigger than mine. Okay, here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Striving desperately to avert a ghastly doom, Jeff, Jed, Joe, Jeff, man, this guy's got quite a few aliases, doesn't he? Uh, anyway, called upon his last hope, a bluff. Wait, what are you, Mayor Lackeys? You're only punishing me because it's the will of your master, Largo. Largo, our master, you lie. A strangely human expression of rage contorted the face of the crafty leader. True, Largo does have a magic control over us, but it will not last forever. Once he grows old, he will be ours. Then his torture will be dire and everlasting. <laughs> but you know that he is able to replenish his youth. While he remains young, you are helpless against him. You are his slaves. But with my help, you can defeat him. Brave talk for one about to die, but speak. What is your plan? Give me my freedom, and I promise you that in three days, Largo will be an old man. He'll be yours. If I fail, well, I'll forfeit my own life. Agreed. Go, but fail not, lest your punishment be multiplied tenfold. And take this advice. Find Largo's timetable. Yeah, whatever that is. As a perilous journey back to the world of the living, the theater at last. What do I do now? I've staked everything on a desperate gamble against time, and all I have to work on is that remark about Largo's timetable. 
The spirits vanished in... What? Intoning a message of doom. Oh, okay. The spirits vanish intoning a message of doom. Three days to succeed. Oh, you return to our realm of English forever. I'd better get started by visiting Largo's dressing room. Yeah, I, I guess so. Oh, dear. Moments later, ye gods, Largo, but he's so young. And Martha, what does she look like now? I probably don't want to know. I mean, I got to save my ass, but as far as me and her, you know, that's probably over with. I don't want to get together with some old shriveled up bag. You know? yeah. Not bad. As long as I can renew my youth, those cursed spirits can't touch me. For a moment, the young actor sank to the black depths of utter despair. Oh, Martha, darling, I failed you. The strongest love is powerless against this evil sorcery. But, in the next moment, some primal unyielding force welled up in his overwrought soul. No, I'll never surrender. Not while there's a shred of hope. There must be some counteracting force for every demonic power. And I think I know where to look. At the local library. Three days later, at the Library of the Occult. Because, you know, there's one of those around every corner. Three whole days wasted. But I've got to keep going. There must be a lead here somewhere. Finally, what's this? A picture of Largo. It reads, The only known portrait of one of the greatest sorcerers of the Middle Ages, said to have won control of the forces of the underworld through a pact with Satan. As Jed read on, with icy horror creeping along his spine, this demon is said to be capable of keeping his control only while he remains young. This he does by preying on humans with enough vanity to dis to sustain them, after which the victim dies of old age. And oh yeah, Martha sure was vain. She was all about herself. Anyway, if he should not find another source of youth at once, he would suddenly grow old and the spirits of the evil old would claim him. However, as yet, as yet, there is no record of his death. That's because he ain't died yet. And this book is 300 years old. Now my chances are slimmer than ever. So he's just going to cry and give up again, I guess. I don't know. Clutching at every straw, Jed suddenly recalled the words of the doorkeeper at the theater. Then hurry, son. Perhaps you can see where I failed. What did he mean by having failed himself? I'm going to have a talk with that guy. And at the theater. So you've finally come. I've been expecting you. You see, my wife was once Largo's partner. He hypnotized her too. Stole her youth. She died of old age. At the age of 20. Well, I mean, I guess if you're like 10, 20's pretty old. What? Nothing. Anyway, I've waited 40 years to wreak vengeance on him. But alone, I'm helpless. Perhaps now, with two of us, we can succeed. Right. Now tell me what you know about Largo. Everything. Uh, not much. I just told you he killed my wife by sucking out her youth. Anyway, later. That's about all I know, except for one thing. The fiend keeps a little black book in a steel trunk. Guards it with his life. It must be important, but you know, I don't know. That's it. His timetable. It tells him when he must replenish his youth. I've got to get it. But how? Leave that to me. I was once great gala. <laughs> Escape artist of vaudeville. I can get the book easily, but what good will that do? Just get it. I have a plan. And only a few more hours to carry it through. The last fateful night. The end of Jed's three days of grace. With feverish haste, the two men hurried to Largo's apartment. There's the box. Now, if I still have my old skill. What do you mean? You thought you did again? What me up? Now, if you don't, uh, Martha and I are both doomed. Hurry! Oh, jeez, my arthritis. Oh, no. Oh, handshaking. Anyway, as the agonizing moments ticked away, the book. We've got it. Yeah, and look. It says that Largo's next time for renewing his youth is at midnight tonight. Okay, Gala, 
Here's my plan. An hour later, when Largo appeared at the theater, Largo, for old time's sake, help me. I'm ill. Go away, you old fool. I'm in a hurry. Please, uh, I'm desperate. Out of my way, you idiot. You're wasting my time. <laughs> you didn't see me. <laughs> As Gala was flung ruthlessly aside, the man must be drunk. It worked. I'm still the great Gala. Yeah, whatever. Now for the next step in my plan. After the performance and Largo's dressing room, the weird ritual began. It is nearly midnight, the fatal hour. Hear me, mighty forces of the netherworld. Let the last of her youth flow into my body. Let her now die, that I remain young. Well, but as he looked into the mirror, a rush of cold panic swept over the fiend. Imps of Tophet. <laughs> Something's wrong. It's exactly midnight, and I'm no younger. I guess he was supposed to turn into a kid or something. I don't know. Suddenly, bursting triumphantly into the room. You're wrong, Largo. It's after midnight. When Gala begged you for help today, he turned your watch back ten minutes. His poor wife is avenged, and so are we. Then, as the winged spirits arrived to fulfill their dreadful mission, a grisly change came over Largo. Mercy demons, don't take me with you. We'll show you the kind of mercy you've shown others, Largo. Come on. He's suddenly incredibly old. And Martha, you're becoming young again. Young and humpable. Phew. I mean, phew. After this, I feel I've aged ten years. Darling, we have plenty of years ahead of us, and we're going to spend them together. Thus, there is a grisly justice that proves, even in the realm of the supernatural, that crime does not pay. Yeah, if only. Anyway, the end. Well, I guess the lesson of the story is, uh, you know, don't make deals with, with demons. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Here's some tires you can buy. Oh, oh, bicycle tire. Okay. Wow, it's got a chain pattern. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, not interested in that. Oh. The Ghost of Company C. Yeah, what a deal. Not going to read that. No. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Next week's uh, looks like another ghost story or something. Uh, sea of Retribution. All right, well, that'll be the next scary story <laughs> for Mr. Nelson's Sunday Comics. I'll see you there.